Hi, um, so today I thought I would share with you some of my favorite skincare for daytime. So the first thing is the Clarisonic. Um, I got this probably about a year and a half ago. It, it, it um, gets tons and tons of raves and deservedly so. It's really, really amazing. I think you notice it from the first time you use it, what a difference it makes for your skin. Um, I know they say it's gentle enough to use twice a day, but I actually only use it once a day. Um, sometimes, mostly in the shower, but uh, on a few occasions when I do it regularly in the daytime, um, my, te my skin tends to get really, really dry. Um, just because there's so much steam and, and hot water in the shower, um, and I've got really, really, really sensitive skin. So I will switch it then to nighttime for a few days and then go back to daytime. Um, it's really, really worth it. It's, it's something that you definitely invest in, but you would have it for years and years and years. So um, that's the first thing, and I use it um, with, whoops, this, gosh, I don't know if it's white, so I don't know if you can even see it. It's the Shiseido. Um, white Lucent Brightening Cleansing Foam. Now, I have used this for years and years and years, and I've actually tried to go into other lines just because sometimes you get bored with something, you want to kind of shake it up a little bit, but um, I always wind up going back to this. Any of their cleansing foams, actually, I have a different one for nighttime. Um, I've used the gentle one. Um, now, I have really dry skin really really dry and dehydrated and I know they say don't use foams so you use oils um, but I don't know what it is it just doesn't feel clean unless I have a foaming cleanser um, and because I've probably been used to this for well over 20 years um, so this is really really fantastic I do I was silly enough to do a lot of tanning beds um, for about Six years. I was really, really pale for most of my life. Then I got a tan one day and I thought, wow, that's a difference. So I kind of got addicted to that for a little bit and then um, and then just realized how silly I was because I was starting to get hyper pigmented um, and it, it was, yeah, it wasn't so great. I think, you, I think you can see them there. You can't actually see it in this lighting, thank God. Um, but this um, when I went off of this for a little bit, I noticed that you could start to see it more and then I started back on this and it would sort of fade it. So it actually does fade because I don't really believe a lot of the times when they say they'll fade certain things, they actually don't unless you get lasered IPL or Fraxel or something like that. But anyways, um, so this, with this, I just put a dab on my palm, kind of swipe the Clarisonic and then off you go. Um, the second is the toner, and um, I actually was using the Caudalie, um, the Beauty Elixir, and um, I had it in the larger bottle, and went off of it. I just found it to be, um, it could sometimes dry my skin as well, even though it was actually beautiful. I, I did use it for quite a while, but I wanted to get into something else, and I found this uh, from a makeup artist that... Um, that I know who who has fantastic stuff and it's it's from a line called Viva and it's um, all organic it's it's very natural this actually wasn't the um, star product that I tried it was actually this from Viva which is called the Amaze oh gosh can you even see that I don't know um, it's called the Amaze gel and it's an exfoliator and she used it on me and you put it onto a dry face and you sort of just rub it around and all of a sudden well before she did that she put a bib on me and I thought well what the heck is this but anyways um she she was rubbing it around and all these things started to fall off and I thought wow this is a really odd product and I was like what is this and she said your skin and I was like pardon me my skin it was like flaking like there were kernels of my skin I thought it was actually pretty gross um but anyways uh, and then she just rinsed it off and my skin was amazing I mean it just felt amazing and it felt really 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 clean like the um, the Shea Terra which is actually coming in the mail so I can't wait to try this but um, or try that and this is also organic there's really only about eight ingredients in it Ger geranium ginseng aloe vera royal jelly citrus extract um, 
And it, it looks like this. Here, I'll show you. It's just, it's like a gel. And um, kind of a pleasant fragrance, nothing to anything. And um, um, I thought in some ways, you know, after a little bit, I thought, you know, maybe this is just sort of a gimmick. And, you know, you, it's just something that's causing these things to sort of kernel. So what I did was I actually exfoliated a few times before I used this. And I didn't get any of the flaking because my skin had already been exfoliated. So when I didn't exfoliate, that's when I would get these actual kernels of skin, dry skin that had yet to be exfoliated. So this is amazing, amazing, amazing. I, I'm not sure where you can get, I know you can get it in Canada. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. I think they're a local company, but um, he was actually a physicist or a scientist. So he's created this sort of chemical reaction to your skin, um, but not in a chemical way. It's all natural. Um, anyway, so there's that. My eye cream, um, again, Shiseido. Uh, super eye contour cream. I've tried so many eye creams. I always go back to this. If I don't use this, I actually get a double sort of puffy fold. So it, it just does wonders for me. Um, I don't know if other people will love it, but I honestly love it. I, I've come back to this time and time again. Um, next is uh, day cream. So, okay, everyone has heard about La Mer. And um, I, I actually do have a, a, a La Mer here, but when I first tried it, I had no idea. I was like, what the hell are people talking about? It's just really, it's almost like you're brainwashed into thinking how fantastic this is. But I had put it on the wrong way. I actually didn't know that there was a specific way to put this product on, which is emulsifying it. Putting a dab in and emulsifying it into um, your palm till it's almost clear because it's very, very white and pasty. And then rather then, you know, I was sort of doing this in the beginning, just putting it on like a normal cream. But once you do this, you actually just pat your face. And once I did that, I really, really noticed the difference. I noticed why people were really, really raving about that. And, and it's kind of a shame that people don't tell you or that it's not readily known that that's how you're supposed to apply it. But um, the, the, um, the one product that I think actually rivals it, and it's a fraction of the cost. I mean, this is really crazy expensive. Crazy. And um, I actually went to the States to get mine because it was much cheaper there than it is in Canada at all. It's just crazy. But um, it's a Dr. Hauschka Rose Day Cream. Now, the only people that are going to like this are the people that kind of like La Mer, a really, really thick, thick cream because I've got such dry skin, and I find the sort of thicker and heavier your cream is under your makeup it just it's sort of I've heard that from every makeup artist they kind of use a really really almost not greasy but a really thick um, cream and then everything just glides on and then you can pat down a little bit afterwards but this is amazing and um, you know I know that I think Jennifer Aniston Madonna uses it and the only reason why I mention those names because really honestly who cares but it's the fact that they could spend a lot of money on a lot of products that I might not have access to and yet they choose this and this is like forty dollars it's so amazing it really is amazing um, and then oh I actually switch off between that and just the argan oil Josie Marin's argan oil I kind of used this for a while and then stopped and then was gonna get a different one but I thought I'd go back to this and I'm actually really like I think what happened was I used way too much I'm so used to using a lot I mean I really like to moisturize so I think that's what the problem was and now that I use less um, it's much better and I ac actually can use this a lot on my neck um, as well and then the final step is sunscreen um, I've kind of incorporated the last five years just into my skincare regime. It's just the last step. Every day, even if it's cloudy, even if it's raining, I don't care. I'm just so used to doing it now. <clears throat> and it's the SkinCeuticals um, Ultimate Defense. And um, it actually leaves a really, really great sheen as well. So you kind of get a sheen under your makeup um, that looks really, really nice. And it's, it's fantastic. Um, Oh no, you know what? There's one product that is the end-all be-all that, of course, I skipped. The one product that I really wanted to talk to you about. So I'm going to have to make another video just for this one product, but it's well worth it. So um, thanks so much.